Assalamu alaikum dear students. I hope that you are all well by the grace of Allah. Alhamdulillah, I am also fine by the mercy of Almighty Allah. Welcome to NIES Home School, a Mizan Rahman S.S.S. Islam Studies of National Daily University School, Morning Shift, Bonasikhaka. Today, I would like to take an Islam Studies class for the students of class 4. Our today's topic is Chapter 5, Broad Question 2 to 6. Today's topic is Chapter 5, BQ, Broad Question 2 to 6. Term in all, today's lecture number 24, and I will give you on the basis of today's lecture, which number will be 23. Okay, dear students, let's come to the board and listen. Chapter 5, Broad Questions. Question number 2. Explain the importance of devotion, of devotion to mothers. Answer. The parents are our most dear and near ones, especially our mothers who brings us up with love and sympathy. Prophet Muhammad could not serve his mother, but he used to devote his midwife mother, Ali much. One day, Prophet Muhammad was sitting with his companions. There came an old woman. Seeing her, the Prophet showed respect by spreading with rubber and let her sit. The companions were asked the Prophet who is she? He said in reply, He is my big wife mother, Halima Dilla Thus, Rasul used to honor his mother. Okay, dear students, this is the very, very important about the honor for mothers. And Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam also honored his mother, honored his mother, Hadrat Halima Dilla who is not his mother, but he, she was a midwife mother of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Dear students, now we start question number three. Explain what the great Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said about servants and laborers. Answer. The poor men and women work in our house. The little boys and girls are also working there. They are known as a worker or servant. The Prophet said, Those who work for you are your brothers. Give them respect. Whatever you eat, feed them the same. Give them the same quality of dress as you wear. Help them in their work. In their work. Okay, dear students, it is the very important hadith and what our Prophet Muhammad about the respect of workers. Because we know that there are a lot of people in our society, those who are poor, others' house or other, others' industry, etc. And those who Prophet Muhammad said, those who work for you. He, they are your brothers and you have to respect them and you have to respect their works and you have to give them foods, those who are you eat and you have to give them clothes, those who are wear you or yourself. So it is the very, very important hadith about the respect of workers or respect of workers, those who are work in our field or in our house or in our industry. Okay, dear students, now we start question number four. Explain how Firaun died. Answer. Hadrat Musa salam, was leaving Egypt with the Israelites. When he knew the ill motive of Firaun, Musa salam, with his followers arrived on the bank of the river Nail. Musa salam, struck the water of river with his teeth. The water was divided into two sides. Then Musa Islam with his people pro crossed the path safely. When crowned with all his men began to cross the river, the, co the river covered them with water. And everybody of the soldiers of Pharaoh and also Pharaoh, everybody has died by the water of Nim. This story is the very, very important about the story of dying the crown which is followed for the Musa for dying for 
बिटेन और फॉर टाइम पर दे आल्सो अल्लाह दो में की ऑर्डर बदमुसा अलैहि सलाम स्टेक बाय हिम अल्लाह दो में की ऑर्डर प्रॉफिट मोहम्मद मूसा प्रॉफिट मूसा अलैहि सलाम बाय योर स्टेक यू फॉल डाउन द ऑर्डर ऑफ नेम देन मूसा अलैहि सलाम फॉल डाउन द ऑर्डर ऑफ नेम बाय हर स्टेक बाय हिज स्टेक देन अल्लाह दो में की डिवाइड द ऑर्डर इनटू द टू साइड्स and make a way good way they for they they come away from the water from the way but when frown come down by for by receiving them allah the almighty water the water the water fell down and they are everybody died by the water of nil it is the interesting story about the died of frown and who is dead body is also now At present is also seen in the in the museum of Mishor or Egypt. Okay, dear students, now we start question number five. Why did our nation leave? What uh, what was the reason for their destruction? Answer: The locality is beginning from Amma and ending to the Hazra Mahu Yemen, where where the dwelling house of our nation. This is the very important. Information: Where was lived the Arab nation? The Arab nation forgot the oneness of Allah and began to engage themselves in the idolatry and polytheismist. One thing, polytheismist. Hazrat Hud Ali Salam preached them to worship on worship on Allah. They did not obey the order of Allah and His Rasul due to arrogance. That is why at first they are happy, drunk, and famine. Happy at first. That is why at first they are happy, drunk, and famine. There, there are there violent wind was was blowing and incessantly one day who is continue seven nights and eight days. Their their arrogance caused their destruction. Okay, dear students, it is also a very important question about our nation, where our nation was lived, and what was the reason for their destruction. Our nation was a very very powerful nation of the world, but they did not follow the order of Almighty Allah and His Rasul. Then Allah the Almighty destruct Allah the Almighty destruct this Allah the Almighty destruction they are by the By the uh, violent wind and incessantly uh, instruction or incessantly destruction. Okay, dear students. Now we will now we will start question number six. What question? Question number six, chapter five. Why Luke or Dead Sea is situated? Explain. Answer. In the map of Arabia. Palestine and Syria has a big and big and famous spot which is seen between the present East Jordan and Palestine. This spot is called Dead Sea. It is also called Blue Sea. Okay, dear students, it is also the very important question: Why was situated Dead Sea or Blue Sea? Dead Sea is another name is Blue Sea. Other two countries are was sent to. Samud nation of East Jordan in order to preach true religion. He tried his best to guide them, but was no result. Then Almighty Allah sent strong rain, strong rainy and stone, stony rainy and thundering sound on them as a punishment. Thereafter, he overthrew. He overturned the locality. Then a dead sea was created there. Okay, dear students, this is the very important, important and interesting story about the Lut Ali Salam's nation and their destruction. Okay, dear students, Lut Ali Salam was the famous prophet of Allah Almighty. He invited the of his nation to the order of Allah to the way of Allah. But they do not follow the order of his of their nobles and rasuls, and finally Allah Almighty 
this uh, Allah Almighty destroyed them by the rainy, by the strong rainy and thundering sound. These two, uh, these two punishment come from Almighty Allah, strong rainy and thundering sound. By these two punishment, Allah Almighty destroy all the nation of Luth or Islam. Okay, dear students, this is enough for this lecture. Now I will give age double on the basis of good strength, sir. Good age double number 23. Good age double number 23. Write the answer of question number 3 and 4. Thank you.